Thursday night, the NFL draft begins. The first round will start at 8 p.m. with the Jaguars expected to take Trevor Lawrence with the first pick. Yeah, five or more quarterbacks could be taken in that first round, including one from Jacksonville. News for Jack Sports anchor Cole Pepper called Mac Jones games on the radio when he was quarterbacking bowls to the state finals. And Cole, sounds like, I mean, he really could make some history. Really could, and he's come a long way to do so, that's for sure. I have to admit, watching Mac lead bowls to the state title game, uh, he would not have been the first guy on that Bulls team I would have predicted to be in this position, but every year he got better and better. He worked on his game, strengthened his arm, and now he could hear his name called very early in the first round. From his days starring at Bulls to the top of the college football world at Alabama, Mac Jones has had quite a football career already. Thursday, he could become the highest drafted player ever from Jacksonville. In the history of the common draft, the highest drafted player from Jacksonville was Ron Sellers, the former Paxson and Florida State wide receiver, who went number six. Now the question, where will Jones be chosen? One of the most common projected landing spots for Jones is the third pick of the draft. The San Francisco 49ers traded up to the third spot to take a quarterback, and the most recent reports are that the Niners are deciding between Jones and North Dakota State's Trey Lance. If Jones goes at three, he would match Gerard Warren of Union County as the highest drafted player from our viewing area. The other popular landing spot is with the New England Patriots. They could trade up to get Jones. If that happened, Jones will have gone from playing for Corky Rogers at Bowles, the most decorated high school coach in the history of Florida football, to Nick Saban, arguably the greatest college coach ever, to Bill Belichick, considered one of the greatest coaches in NFL history. It's a path his parents have thought about. This going to be super cool. I mean, you know, really, truly, I mean, you, you, know, what, you know, if he goes to that level, I just think, you know, it's kind of one of those visions you have, like, okay, kid goes, you know, plays for Corky, does well, plays for Alabama, it goes well with Coach Saban, and then I'm thinking, like, hey, the next part of this kind of vision and story should be Coach Belichick. What's interesting about Jones' potential in the draft is that while some think he could go as high as three, Many have him rated in the 20s on their big board. It's going to be very interesting to see what happens. There have been 21 players from our area drafted in the first round, and Jones should make it 22 on Thursday. Of course, we'll have full coverage of the draft, starting with the morning show live from TIAA Bank Field on Thursday and heading all the way through the night.